Hi, this is Nelson from Nelson ICT Services. This is one of our farmland. It's a large area. And behind me, as you can see, is the ranch land. We can rear sheep, goats, and uh, cattle. Right now, you can't see any of them because the shepherds have taken them to some other parts of the land. So, the place I'm standing is actually our area of focus. It's 64,000 square feet. And this is where our farmhouse will be located and also the plantation for the banana and the avocado. Then we are looking at uh, enlarging another area, developing it for banana and coffee because it go grows well on this plateau. And then because this eucalyptus tree we already harvested early last year uh, the one that are regrowing will regularly uh, harvest it for fuel while allowing the banana to have enough sunlight and then the micro crops that you will be planting and the vegetables will also take up the land After fencing it, we will introduce our poultry here. It's a very good land. Our fishery will be down the hill. You see, after just 30 minutes rain, the whole valley is flooded with uh, a lot of water from the surrounding hill. And then we will take up that advantage of having water throughout the year because of that and establish a good fish pond. We would have about 15 to 20 fish ponds and we will really cut fish and tilapia if we get enough funding and we are able to fence this section of the farm it will go a long way in making sure that the farm is very secure even though we have a tiny farmhouse just uh, over here we have a tiny farmhouse where the security man sleeps but surrounding the farm will make sure that everything that is uh, reared here is controlled like the poultry we are looking at turkey and also uh, the local chicken because of its taste and uh, ability to withstand a lot of sicknesses. They will be left to roam about just within the secluded area while we will be using their waste to rear the fishes. And so on. Our dream is to have about 12 rooms here, which will include the stores, because the bananas will start producing maybe within a year. We are looking at June 2023 to be able to harvest at least 100 to the 600 planted stems and because of the price 
it will be very go a very long way to uh, help us run the farm successfully and because it's a plant that grows on its own even though we are going to manage it for commercial purpose in this plateau it grows well and the land is very fertile as you can see so we have cypress trees we have the eucalypto all those these two plants are uh, we are artificially introduced in this location but because people are cutting them down for housing we are deciding to introduce the plantation to replace the vegetation so if there's any question just feel free we will be available to answer you this is a valley at uh, Nelson Farms this is our biggest farmland as you can see after a 30 minutes run, the valley is actually filled up with a lot of uh, water from the neighboring this land over here is a ranch land it's uh, more than 20 hectares, 2,400 millimeter of rain per year. So it's ideal for fish farming. And our temperature range between 16, between 13 and 43 degrees. You can see this river is all flooded. And these are eucalyptus, eucalyptus uh, farm. Then we have uh, bamboo trees that are planted in the valley. And that area is actually an area for fishery because of the river. People come around to fish the only variety that is available around. Then there is another area that is secluded for planting of grasses. We have grasses like the Timothy grass, those ones we plant them for animals. As you can see, the area is quite big and if you can hear the noise from the background it's actually bananas into the farmland a lot of things here we have stones that are going to be harvested to be sold and it's very expensive right now so while building the place <laughs> Thank you.